Well, I was kind of hoping we would die in some kind of fiery, oily explosion or something, but... I guess a text message is just as well. How the kids communicate these days is by text. So I suppose we need to figure out how to disable the submarine. You see a she-peasant. Look out for the monsters in the tanker! Oh wait, I guess you already did. <laughs> that tanker's a tough place, that's what the punks say. I am getting sick of fish. Nice day to be at the ocean. You like fish juice? So you're getting through the tanker alright? Tch. <laughs> What's that car doing down there? This car is a little wet and cannot be repaired. You see a dirty, ill-kempt person. She peasant. My back hurts. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, guys. You see a sheep peasant. I see a computer. What's on the computer? Nothing. Well, you have to be doing something. Are you getting somewhere in there? Oh, look, another tourist. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. I guess that's the tanker up there, because it looks like it's leaking. I see a dirty, ill-kempt person. Hello, dirty, ill-kempt person. There's a car in the ocean there. Too bad it's rusted out. This is the life. No bosses, no government, just a clean sea breeze. This is one of the best homes we've had in a year. I'll bet the kids love it here. Okay. Blocking the stairway. Come on. Both of you. Jeez. Dirty ill kempt person. You see, dirty ill kempt person. What's in here? You see a door. Nothing. Box of noodles. Of course. Doesn't seem too promising. My back hurts. This guy looks dirty. Er, <laughs> I was gonna say different, but I guess he does look dirty too. We'll be moving on sometime, I'm sure. Like our homes, our neighbors are certainly interesting. Are any of these guys not she peasants? See a dirty ill kempt person. Dirty ill kempt person, dirty ill kempt person, a dirty ill kempt child. Person. The car has been poorly parked. Unfortunately, it's beyond repair. Oh, hey, there's a boat! You see, rusting boat. This boat looks barely seaworthy. How did I not notice this boat before? You see a dock worker? Oh, what atrocities did poor Meng do in a past life to deserve such misfortune? Now the Lao Wei comes to me. What good could possibly come of it? None, of course, none at all. What's your problem, Mumbles? My problem? He laughs bitterly. Lao Wei, you do not wish to know my problem. To hear of sorrow such as mine is to forget the sound of a child's laughter and the warm embrace of a lover. No, trust me, you do not wish to glimpse my personal hell. You think your problems are bad? I bet they don't compare to things I've been through. 
I'm sure that whatever your problem is, I can handle it. Uh, fine. You want to know my problem? I'll tell you. Two years ago, my brother, who looks very similar to me, had an affair with a local gang leader's girlfriend. The gang leader found out about it, and my brother fled town. The gang caught me instead, and thinking it was my brother, they severed my penis as punishment. Now I pissed through a tube. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh no, I'm not done yet! Then my beautiful girlfriend left me because I was no longer a real man and could not satisfy her. She then married my next door neighbor, who also happens to be my boss. Now all day at work, he orders me around and mocks me with my co-workers, and every night I must try to fall asleep to the sound of him making love to the girl I should have married. Ha ha ha! Holy shit, you're a loser! Why don't you do yourself a favor and just end it? I'm sorry that happened to you, Meng. Life can be cruel, but it can always get better. If I were you, I'd move somewhere else and find a different job. Otherwise, you'll never be able to move on. Perhaps you are right. All my life, I've known nothing but the she. But there is nothing left here for me but sorrow. Yes, I think I shall venture out into the world and forge a new destiny. Even if the wastes offer me nothing but a swift death, that is preferable to remaining here. Thank you, Lao Wai. Before you start packing, could you answer me a question? Why not? I'm severing all ties to the Shi. Their secrets now mean nothing to me. Ask what you will. What can you tell me about that guarded motorboat over there? The Shi used that motorboat to access our sleeping guardian, the sub. What can you tell me about the sub? The Shi Huang Ti is the submarine that brought our ancestors to this place from a faraway land. In the aftermath of the Great War, it lost power and ran aground in the San Francisco Bay. Captain Yi Li and his crew then made their way to the city and established what would become the Shi Society. You referred to it as a sleeping guardian. What do you mean by that? Like a hibernating dragon whose snores can still produce deadly fire, the sub is immobile but not helpless. The Shi have been working on it in secret, making clandestine trips to the sub. Under cover of night, its weapons have been reactivated and will surely destroy any non-Chinese vessels that dare to sail through this bay. So let's say, hypothetically, if that big tanker that's docked here were to try and set sail, then BOOM! Gotcha, I don't suppose you know how I could disarm it. Only the sheet technicians would know such a thing. Goodbye. You convince Meng to move on with his life. You gain 500 experience points. I fix Meng. You see a guard in loose clothing wearing a look of weary boredom. What do you want, Lao Wai? I need to use the motorboat. And I need you to fuck right off. You're not permitted to use the motorboat. Hell, you're a Lao Wai, not a she. Listen, I'm in a desperate situation. If you don't let me use that motorboat, then my entire tribe could die. Right now, they're in the clutches of those enclave bastards, and they're counting on me to save them. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to use that motorboat. If you won't let me use it, I'll have to take it by force, and one of us will end up dead. He stares at you for a long moment and sighs. Look, no one gets on this boat without giving the proper password. You know, like the one you just gave me. And Lee's going to have my head for this. Thank you, friend, and don't worry, I won't speak a word of this to anyone. I hope not, for both our sakes. Let me know when you're ready to bring use the boat. You can't bring anyone with you, as it'll draw too much attention. You'll have to go at this alone. What better time than now? Just use the mooring post and slide down the rope to the boat. Don't take too long out there, though. I don't want to get in any trouble. Got it. Bye. Okay. Where's the... There we go. Use this. Wow. It's the She Submarine. This is all brand new. You gain 1,000 experience points for talking your way into gaining access to the motorboats. After about a quarter of an hour, the rickety motorboat arrives at a rusty conning tower sticking out of the water off the coast of San Francisco. The shallow waters are murky, but you can see the outline of the massive submarine quite clearly. Wow. 
that is... looks like it's seen better days. Okay, let's see now. Surely there's a way inside. I see a ladder, but that probably goes back down to the... That doesn't do anything. See rusting submarine tower. The ravages of time and salt water are slowly consuming this rusting hulk. These kind of look like ha oh, there we go. There's a hatch. This hatch looks odd. Unlike the rest of the vessel, it's relatively rust-free and has an intricate, complicated lock. You struggle with the latch hatch, but eventually you manage to rip it open. Pieces of the broken latch. Broken lock, litter the tower, and crunch under your boots. Crunch. I'm inside a submarine. This is unexpected. See rusty machinery. Beep boop. An old console. Hello? Anybody here? You examine the console and the loose cables. Looks like someone with a little skill in repair or a crowbar could completely disable the power subsystem. Interesting. Uh Dave, because this is strange. Failed to disable the power generator. Okay. place is creepy. See rusty machinery. What's going on back here? Rusty machinery. Beep. You see an old console. The operating system seems to be corrupted as it doesn't respond to your commands like it should. You should figure you could figure the system out with a more scientific approach. Let's use our science. You fiddle with the system for a few minutes, but it's just too far gone for you to salvage. Looks like you need to find another way to disable the torpedoes. See an old console. This subsystem is disabled, should prevent the tubes from being reloaded with a spare torpedoes. Disabling shouldn't be too hard, the metal is literally falling apart and you can clearly see the vacuum tubes. Hey look, it's the front of the submarine. Those torpedoes don't even look like they should be operable. Oh, well, let's play with it. You failed to learn anything. You failed to disable the system. You failed to disable the system. You failed to disable the system. You failed to disable the system! Well, you said something about a crowbar. I believe I have one of those. So let's try that. Oh. No, I don't want to swing it at it. Oh, when I can't use it now that it's in my thing. S yeah. That does nothing. Failed to disable the system. You failed to disable the system. Come on! Disable the system already! Oh, my repair is only 49%. Hmm. That one doesn't do anything either, does it? Let's try this one. No. Let's use the crowbar. That does nothing. Let's attack it with the crowbar. Attack! Oh, come on. 
Telling me I got all the way here and I can't figure out how to disable a stupid submarine that's a thousand years old? Wait, what happened? Did, did it work? I, I'm confused. You cannot repair that. I don't know what I just did, but something strange happened. Let me try that again. You failed to disable the power generator. Can I strike it? From the record? No. The console surrenders quickly and the emergency generator dies. Without power, the submarine poses no threat. Where does this door go? This door is completely rusted over. There's no way to open it. Mm. So do I still need to disable the torpedoes or what? You see an old console. I, I thought I already played with that one. Strange things are happening. How about this guy? Oh, I know. It's probably not working because I disabled the Whatchamajigger. Well, then I guess my work here is done. Suppose I will just get on this boat and leave. How do I do that? You have managed to disable the submarine, putting the undead guardian of San Francisco to rest. You gain 1,000 experience points! Dead sub. What this guy says now? Can't you see I'm busy here? We should be able to just go right to the... Enclave oil rig now, huh? Well, now. How do you get this thing to go? Never mind. Captain on deck.